Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone, today we're gonna talk about tooltips. So I understand that you all know what tooltips are. This is one of the basic things that Power BI has, right? But for those who do not know, let me just show you a default tooltip that Power BI offers. So I have a chart here. And when I hover over any series on this chart, right? It offers a tooltip you can see here, which is displaying some basic information like the country that I'm hovering over and the sum of cases that I have, right? And when you go to the properties window of this chart, you can see that in the general tab, you can see there's a tooltip option and if you want, you can just turn it off as well so that that tooltip does not appear. You know, you can even add more columns to this. So just in case you want to add total deaths as well, right? So all you have to do is just drag this total deaths and add it into this tooltip section here. And when you hover over this, it will show you the total deaths as well, right? But remember when you're adding something to the tooltip, it is also impacting the performance of your Power BI report, right? Because it is consuming some memory. But looking at the tooltip like this, it's a bit boring, right? And the information that you can show here is very restricted. So let me show you another option that you have, okay? I have another chart here and see what happens when I hover over any of these series, right? Now, isn't this more interesting? The tooltip has a full-fledged detailed page of its own which the user can hover over and check multiple metrics and values that are related to that particular country that I'm hovering upon, right? So whenever I change my cursor here and hover on another country, it will filter out the values for that particular country and show you the results in that tooltip. Cool, right? If you want to learn how I did that, then keep on watching. All right, let's jump right into it. So the first thing that you need to do to create an interactive tooltip similar to what I have shown you just now is to create a new page. Okay. And in this page, just format this page as per your liking the way that you want the tooltip to be shown. So I'm going to say, let's say COVID-19 country detail. I'm going to add a couple of metrics to it. So these are four cards that I've added. Let me just quickly format this. Now once done, I can choose to change the page color like you saw earlier in my earlier tooltip. Just click anywhere on the page and go to the page settings. You can click on wallpaper color as black. All right, now let's insert a chart here, okay? And what I want to see is I want to see the total number of cases which were there for a country. So I'm going to add the country value inside a stacked bar chart. And I'm going to add total cases here. Along with that, I'm going to add total deaths and total recovered. All right. Now feel free to play around with the properties. Uh, you can change the background color of these cards you can change the background color of this text boxes and the chart as well so feel free to play around i'm gonna keep this as it is in the interest of time once you're satisfied how your page is looking all you need to do is click in anywhere on the page come to page information in page information you will find this small option which says allow use as tooltip turn that on okay now you're good to go now we'll come back to our page one which was our main page and in this main chart, the top chart that we have, what we will do is we will just add that page as a tooltip, okay? And this is why Power BI is so user intuitive and easy to use. All you have to do is just click on the chart here, come to the formatting tab and inside general section here, come to tooltip and keep this as report page. And in the page section, just choose page three, okay? Now, if you see earlier, we had that default tooltip on this chart. Now, when I hover over this, it will show me the new page that we created as the tooltip. And if you see, it's automatically filtering the country 
that I am hovering upon. Right now, I am on India and it's filtered the value for India and showing me the total population, total cases, deaths, recovered and everything in that stacked bar chart is also getting filtered accordingly. This was an interesting use case for a tooltip. That's why I thought I'll share this with you. So feel free to play around and let me know in the comment section what else do you think can be done with tooltips. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're liking my content, please remember to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.